Hello, I'm Georgie and welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of the top technology news stories from across the globe. For this episode's Hot Topic interview, we'll be speaking with EY's Jamie Q about the EY Startup Challenge program and startup and corporate collaboration. First though, here are your top international news stories. Tel Aviv-based taxi app Get secured a $100 million seven-year loan facility from Russia's Spurbank. Get, which operates in 100 cities across the globe, secured $300 million from Volkswagen earlier this year. Open Door, an online platform for the sale and purchase of US real estate, announced a $210 million Series D round. The PropTech firm is now said to be valued at more than $1 billion, joining the so-called Unicorn Club, which features other top tech firms such as Uber, Airbnb and Deliveroo. This month it was also revealed Facebook had secured an e-money license from the Central Bank of Ireland. It's not clear what Facebook plans to do with this new license, but it could be that it rolls out Facebook Messenger's peer-to-peer -peer payment features in Europe. Uber launched its semi-autonomous vehicles in San Francisco, but was promptly ordered by the California Department of Motor Vehicles to remove them from the road. This follows numerous reports of the self-driving cars being seen running red lights. The DMV said Uber must secure the relevant permit before being able to put the vehicles back in action. Back here in the UK, Amazon made its first commercial delivery using a drone. A parcel containing an Amazon Fire TV stick and a bag of popcorn was flown from the firm's drone testing site near Cambridge to its next door neighbour, a farmhouse just 765 yards away. Those are your top technology stories for this month. Now we have this episode's Hot Topics interview. I spoke to Jamie Q about the EY Startup Challenge programme and the benefits of collaboration between startups and corporates. Jamie, thanks for joining us. Can you start off by telling us about the EY Startup Challenge? So the EY Startup Challenge is an innovation programme that EY runs to bring together emerging technology startups and industry clients of EY's to tackle specific business issues in certain sectors which we feel that emerging technology is relevant for. The latest one that we've run is a six-week challenge focusing on how blockchain technology can be used to solve some of the pain points in energy trading and digital rights management. So that would be the energy and, and media sectors. Um, the program is really about helping these startup businesses to zero in on the real business issue, articulated to them from the standpoint of these industry organizations who, who deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis and EY provides the role of being the facilitator and also being the, the sort of connector um, and also industry mentors to help them think through the actual problem area um, and understand the nuances of the issue so that they can be better prepared and able to produce the right product and prototypes. What do startups gain by collaborating with big businesses in general and also being part of your programme? Startup businesses can gain a lot from the Startup Challenge. If I put it simply, I would say that it's probably on the business development side. For a B2B entrepreneur, a lot of the time what they're really grappling with is understanding the right business issue that they should be trying to solve, right? What's the problem that their solution um, is the right solution for? And what the EY Startup Challenge provides is the perfect platform for them to engage with the, start, the clients and the large businesses that they otherwise may not have the perfect opportunities to engage with um, and to get from them a real explanation of exactly how the business issue affects them, how they deal with it um, on a day in day out basis and off the back of that be able to shorten what would be perhaps months of product development and business development time into maybe a period of a few weeks. And what do the corporates themselves get from that collaboration? Increasingly, I think we see out in the market across multiple different sectors um, a trend where large corporations are more and more turning to early stage businesses and startups, probably at the outset to understand how their emerging technologies and their products can be used um, and whether that's relevant for their business and to educate themselves. But increasingly it's going beyond that to the point where large corporates are interested in piloting and testing these solutions because they understand that 
you know, they need to engage with the entrepreneurs who are driving these emerging technologies. And what the corporates and large organizations get out of something like the EY Startup Challenge is two things. Firstly, is it's that education, being able to understand exactly how an emerging technology like blockchain works and being able to cut through the hype and uh, it helps demystify this technology for them. And secondly, through that, they're able to understand exactly how this works for, in the context of their own organizations um, and be in a position to test it and embrace it more. And are there any industries in particular that would benefit from this collaboration? I think there are a number of different industries and sectors that would benefit from this sort of collaboration. I think the sectors that entail infrastructure, whether it's physical infrastructure in our world today, or whether it's economic or financial infrastructure, those are going to be parts of the cities of the future and societies of the future that need to innovate and need to be prepared for a future world where they leverage emerging technologies to deliver that service for people better. So things like road networks, railway networks, financial services, telecommunication networks, these are going through that change right now. And these are a lot of the organizations that are interested in engaging with earlier stage businesses. So I would say those are the sectors I'm personally interested to see the impact on. Jamie, thank you so much for talking to us. Very welcome. That's all for this episode. To get more top tech news straight to your inbox, visit techcitynews.com forward slash subscribe.